Hi, I'm Jabin. I'm Marcos. I'm Vince. I'm Kyle. We wanted to engineer a solution to rats causing so much damage to humans' livelihood in the world. Widespread across every continent, rats eat one-fifth of the food harvested. Besides consuming all that food, rats are also able to transmit dozens of diseases that could severely affect our pets and loved ones. Not only can rats transmit diseases, they can actually chew through insulations in our electrical systems in our homes and in our cars, causing fire hazards and potential deaths. Traditional methods are both messy and poisoning poses a risk to pets and children. So we wanted to create a trap that minimized contact with the rat and eliminated any risks to children or other pets. In order to make a, a product that you could bring to market, our design incorporated um, the idea that somebody could buy this in the store and take it to buckets they have at home or silver buckets and easily snap in place, like so, and set up the bucket to trap rats. The principle of our mechanism was to have the weight of the rat activate the trap door itself. As you can see here, we have a trap door where the rat could walk up and when their weight is centered over a certain point, the latch right here is released and the trap door opens. Consideration of the materials for our prototype, uh, we start with the obvious bucket which is made of high density polyethylene, HDPE, and the linkages themselves we designed to be made out of 5052 aluminum for its high tensile strength of 89 megapascals and its bearing compressive strength of 131 megapascals. So we designed a four bar, a four bar linkage with our input link here and our coupler and it transmits down to our output link. This output link, as it rotates, pulls on, pulls on our slider link here to overcome friction between the edge of the lip and the slider link, releasing the trap. We have a transmission angle that's pretty close to 90 degrees, so we concluded that it was a very efficient mechanism, and also we can get the most torque out of our out of our rat. So the weight of the rat will easily overcome the friction between the slider link and the edge of the bucket. So for the dynamic analysis what we wanted to check was uh, in the worst case scenario when the rat would be on top of the trigger and cause the input link to fall as quickly as gravity. So we had to run a static analysis of our four bar mechanism with the rat's weight included to analyze e the internal forces uh, at the pivots and we concluded that the internal forces within static equilibrium are much greater when it's in dynamic motion. In addition to the static analysis, we also had to do a stress analysis, and we found that there was gonna be bending, buckling, and also potential tear-off failures inside each connection point. And we found out that the factors of safety that we got were really high, but the lowest one was from the slider link, and it was a value of 43, and we concluded that this mechanism would not break under its own weight and the rat's weight.